You are listening to Apex One Radio. Stay with us for the best bet in the new wave of communication. Apex One Radio. Get informed, enjoy, and learn. Solange, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mr. Kanjo. How is Boya today, Solantine? Oh, Boya is okay. The weather is just mild. Mm, that's interesting. So, thank you so much for joining us on <laughs> Apex One Radio today. And like I said, you are an actress who doubles as a comedian. Uh, which one do you do more? Uh, is it movie acting or uh, comedy? Um, Mr. Kanjo, the, um, what I do more is acting, okay. movie, you know. <laughs> I'm right. just into comedy part time, but <laughs> I think I got the skills so okay. much. That's beautiful. That I try to put it to you. Mm. Okay, so let's uh, uh, talk about comedy first before we get into uh, your career as a movie actress. So, how did you get into comedy, and for how long have you been exercising this talent? Um. It's been long since when I was small. I realized I usually make people laugh. You know, I just like to say funny things. Mm. And whenever I say funny things, people laugh. So um, why, when I started acting, you know, when we on set and I used to say funny things, so laugh. And I was just telling me, you know, you got this comedy as um, talent in you. Right. Can you just explore it? Put it to use. Mm. Stop wasting. So I decided to get into comedy. Right. So. Could you describe the kind of comedy you do? Um, I think stand-up comedy. Do you do stand-ups or you do uh, uh, comedy in in films? I do stand-up comedy and I've never done comedy in movies, you know. Okay. Wow. But I think I'm working towards that. And also, I used to do some small, small skits. Okay. That's interesting. But so far, have you produced anything uh, to that effect? Do you have any comedy production? Yes, I've done one small comedy skit that I speak in a basketball accent, mm. which is on Facebook. It's on my right. Facebook page, Holy Edge. I think when you get on my Facebook page, you will not see that. Right. Tell us about this uh, uh, Batibo accent strip, which uh, a lot of people uh, seem to be falling in love with. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I used to live around one lady, one woman, who is a Batibo woman from Bamenda. You know, the woman was so funny. Mm. One morning, I realized, one morning I got up, I was greeting that woman, and she was not answering. I never knew she was angry, you know. And when I said, Mommy, good morning, she said, Okay, woke up a month as a room man, man, no answer, no go pa. So I just, when I got that accent, I'm like, oh my god, it's so funny. And so I just started talking like a bad woman. Wow. So have you had um, any opportunity to uh, present this bad accent in one of your comedy performances? Have you had the opportunity to present this battable accent in one of your public comedy performances? Yes. Okay. And what was the reaction of uh, the audience? Sorry? What was the reaction of the audience? I mean, when you presented this oh, battable accent. Uh, everybody, everybody laughed out <laughs> loud. Everyone was so happy with it, you know. Like the one I put on Facebook, people kept sharing it and watching it and laughing and commenting. Mm. Right. Now, um, yeah. one of the trends uh, which we have uh, these days is uh, the evolution, eh? rapid evolution, of course, of English-speaking Cameroonian comedy. And lots and lots of uh, those young comedians uh, are emerging in Boya and Bamenda. Have you had the opportunity to work with some of them? I've never had the opportunity to work with any of them, but I think I'm working towards that to get connected to them. Mm. And do you have uh, some of them in mind? Who are these comedians uh, whom you admire? Um, I really admire the um, pastor. Okay. It's Sango Pastor. I admire Calvino. Mm. I'm sorry. So I think I want to work with those people, those two. I also admire uh, this guy, Zachary. 
Okay. That's how he loves more by admire him a lot because he, he also talks towards um you know he do he does just what I like to do too. He has this bat this batchable accent that he also <laughs> talks like. Right. So, Solantin, a lot of people, I would imagine, cannot match your physical appearance and comedy. Uh, I remember when I first uh, got in contact with you, uh, I thought you were a, a, a model. So, have people told you this? And how do you react um, when they tell you that you don't resemble a comedian? <laughs> Most people say that um, it's good for me to be a comedy, you know. Everyone that knows me and always tell me that really, you know, comedy can fit you so well because when you talk, the funniest part of it is that when you talk and people look at you, you don't match <laughs> that um as the one talking. Right. Right? So if it is good, they like it because it's, it's nice. These people can't really match the right. person talking it makes a and difference. the accent. Mm. That that makes it funny. I think so. that's what makes it uh, uh, unique as well. That's what makes you uh, uh, distinguished eh, from the other comedians. So, uh, Solantin Ebwe is a Cameroonian actress and comedian. She's speaking live from Boya, Cameroon, on this uh, edition of African Fiesta, reaching you from Columbus, Ohio, United States of America. This day, July the 20th, 2016. The show is produced by Maxel Adi. I presented in the studio by NS Kanjo. So, Lantina, I'm coming back to you. Tell me, um, just when did you become a movie actress? And what motivated you to get into it? Right from birth, I've always loved acting. Okay. Since when I was small, when I was in primary school, like in church, I used to organize such, such um, drama, kids. I used to you know, just come up with some funny things and make my friends to act. Right. So I think acting is just part of me. Mm. And so, uh, which is the most recent movie you did and how did you get on board this project? My most recent movie is Before You Say Yes, I Do. Okay. And it's still under production, I guess? Yes, sir. Okay, and who is uh, uh, the author of the film? Who is uh, who is its director and producer? The director is Frank Sire, and he's also the producer couple, um, joined with Pride in Free. Okay, that's beautiful. And that movie, I would imagine, is also featuring Cindy Emade and lots of other uh, frontline Cameroonian actors. This is Fiesta number 54. You're listening to Solantin Egwe speaking live from Boya, Cameroon. So tell me um, a little bit about this movie before we ride on. What character are you playing in it and do you enjoy playing that role? Um, I'm playing the character of a friend to a lady mm. and also an owner of a beauty salon. Okay. That's good. And I... just a decent lady right. trying to help a friend in the movie. Hmm. So, which are other movies you've done so far and is there any of these ones you would uh, consider as uh, very challenging? Okay. I've done... The Prodigal Son, Dark Side, When an Angel Dies, Loser's Game, Against My Will. Okay. Um, I've done One Theory, which is um, Rumble. I've also done, I just had a minor role in Blood of Wine. Okay. That's a rich uh, repertoire. I can't, there. Mm. Yes, I can't remember all of them right okay. now. <laughs> Beautiful. It means you've done uh, quite much. Okay, so, uh, Solantin, I would also imagine that uh, uh, you work really hard and you are ambitious. Eh? You definitely want to get to the highest height in this art. But um, tell me, what do your directors and producers tell you? What makes you a good actress? <laughs> okay, they told me that I um 
column six. I take the instructions, and also I'm very punctual. Mm. Punctuality, that is a good uh, one there. So, um, do you have any problems which you face as a young actress practicing the art in Cameroon, your country? No, Mr. Kanjo, for now, I haven't identified any. Mm, that's great. And are there some mm -hmm. actors you've worked with so far and you think that uh, you would always like to work with them? Yes, a couple of them. In fact, everyone I've ever worked with, I uh, just like to work with them. Mm, that's beautiful. So, I want to thank you so much for joining us on uh, Apex One Radio this day. But before you uh, you go away, could you... Uh, how can you be reached eh, if there is someone out there who wants to invite you for a comedy performance or to feature in their movie or some, uh, you know, some other working assignment? How can they reach the artist? They can get me on Facebook to have my contact, or they can ask my number from one or two producers or directors or filmmakers or actors and actresses that they know around. Wow, that's beautiful. So, Lantin, thank you so much. Eh? We will find time and bring you back on the airwaves of Apex One Radio. We want to encourage you, and thanks for making your country, Cameroon, proud. Keep the flame burning. Thanks a lot, Mr. Kanjo. Have a blessed Wednesday afternoon out there in Boya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye mm, for God now. God bless you. Bye Take for care. Now. Mm. Thank you again for tuning in with Apex One Radio. Stay with us on www.apexoneradio.com. Apex One Radio, your radio.